Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, get compensated for all this werewolf slaying. Hello, hello, hello. Damn it, killed him too quick. What the hell? How am I supposed to kill? Uh. I need to find a werewolf by himself. I only need one more. Thank goodness. Get somewhere safe.
there. Ah, the lovely clank of armor. Well done. When we get out of here, the first drink's on me. The good news is I do indeed have the master key to the city gates. The bad news is your thrilling exploits have attracted Falchu's attention. The cure. Did it work? The real pity is I can't make more dope. Hello, dear. You certainly know how to make an impression. You were too successful, my friend. And now Fal Chu is, pardon the pun, howling mad. A bold plan. Take one of these new. Oh, no. Now, no. oh, we can give you. Ah! Who dares trespass in my city? Find them! Kill them! Bring me their bones. Bring me their bones. Keep watch. I won't be long. Keep watch. I won't be long. You better not be long. Leaving me out here vulnerable and crap. Keep watch. I won't be long.
I'm not much good with a sword, but... Any help would be appreciated, people. Instead, you leave me to fight them all alone. Gone and cough. I did your bidding. The city is mine now. You are still my creature, slave. I made you. Are you dare challenge me? Prepare to feel my wrath. The fire shall not destroy me again. Wow. Whew, I barely survived that. <laughs> it's for killing pregnant ladies. Man, you killed a pregnant lady. It's not cool. Greetings. You did it. You killed Fal Chu. <laughs> yes, my friend, but you turned the tide. We had all but lost the war before you came and showed us the way to victory. My son may know more than me on that matter. My only guess is that they sought to break the Lion Guard, divide our forces and destroy us. If not for your intervention, they very well may have succeeded. Yes, throughout Glenumbra, the Lion Guard is spread thin. We rebuild. My condolences Why to your families I for the hardship you had to face. My soldiers and I failed to protect you as we were sent to do. I will ensure that I find who is responsible for this and avenge our people. I didn't know Gloria was involved in all this. She does make wading through werewolves look pretty good though, don't you think? Maybe she and I can get together later, share a bottle of wine. Oh, good grief. Compared I wanted to thank you, personally. Lord I'm resigning from the Camlorn Guard. They need builders now, not soldiers. Besides, that Angoff thing is still out there. Someone has to go deal with that. Unless, of course, you care to tempt me with a drink before I start my heroic journey. Well then... All the more reason for me to get out there and deal with this Angoff fellow once and for all. The werewolf slipped in on my watch. I need to make amends for that. First one to reach Angoff buys the first bottle of wine. Still hanging around, eh? Don't suppose you're reconsidering that drink. I had a drink with him or a squad of lion guard. That's too funny. Greetings.
I'm going to live forever. Or at least die. I can't believe I lost everything. What a terrible idea this turned out to be. What was I thinking? My dream has turned into a nightmare. I wanted to start fresh in Daggerfall. I even have a name for my new shop. Garments by Odai. Has a nice ring, don't you think? I was in a hurry. I had a, an appointment I had to keep. Anyway, could you help me? I'm ruined without my sewing box, silken threads, and book of patterns. Gather them. And meet me on the other side of the pass. I'll take the law. As long as I have the tools of my trade, I can make an honest living. A good tailor is welcome anywhere. Please, but do hurry. I worry that the wolves will. I thought the pass was over. Oh. Yes, well. Hmm. Something sketchy about him. I don't suppose you've seen a frightened tailor wandering about. His name is Odai Philippe. I'm his wife, and I very much want to find him. That sounds like my sweet Odai. Kindest man in the world, but as helpless as a kitten. We spent the night at the Lion Guard camp nearby, and he must have wandered off. He sleepwalks sometimes. Odai's not used to rough living. I can see that. Oh, I do hope he isn't frightened. Even deer tend to startle poor Odai. I was taking him to my mother's home in Wayrest. She just loves Odai to pieces. I can better concentrate on my job if I know Odai's safe. Oh, look, there he is now. Poor bedraggled darling. Thank you for helping him. Oh my I really gosh. I feel better once I get him safely to my mother's house. I just adore him so. I hate for anything to happen to him. There you are, my poor darling. You must have been sleepwalking again. You were gone when I woke up. Yes, dear. Sleepwalking. Again. Was my little cuddle bear frightened? You're safe now. I'll get you to my mother's. Have you snug as a bug in a rug in no time. And don't worry. I'll kill anyone or anything that gets in our way. Yes, dear. I'm sure you will. Well, that's enough excitement for one day. Come along, dearest. <laughs> the sooner we get you to safety, the sooner I can get back to work. Don't forget to thank the kind stranger for helping you, dear. Thanks, stranger. For nothing. He is very, he is very unhappy with me. <laughs> it's so funny.
He should be a man and tell her that he doesn't want to be with her anymore. It's not nice later on like that. You there. You don't look like one of these bandits. Get down and be quiet. We don't, don't want to tell me what to do. We're keeping an eye. The provost. He commands the Tell him you want to help and he'll probably something about the red rook. Oh, this is a group dungeon. Hmm. I don't know if I'll be able to do this on my own. I guess I could try. Wait, who's that? Who's over there? Did the Fighters Guild send you? As word made it to my fighters are ex on your feet, you louts. We're going back in. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna need a group. I can always come back to that later when I have a group.
So you've come to the bog at last. I've waited for your arrival. It was written on the stones and in the sky. Fate has led you here, just as I have foreseen it. You wish to resolve the conflict between the Weird and the Coven. Mother Merc's anger and darkness run deep, even for a Hagraven. She's powered this. You can find the Ask. Help. Mother Merc opposes the struggle. Between. Mother Merc uses. I am them. called by many. No, I come from. Mother Merc opposes the Weirises. She is your enemy. Go ahead and get this way shrine. Let's see what's over on this island first. Okay, well that was worth coming here for.
She was weird looking. What is she made out of? Yeah. Oh, her body disappeared. You have returned, and you are victorious, just as I have foreseen it. I sensed her departure. The shadows cast by her destructive anger will fade from these fens in time. Perhaps she will find peace in whatever lies beyond this plane. You did well, I think. I did. I played a... Uh basically all the test games except for Arena. I didn't really dive too much into that, but I played Morrowind, Dagger Falls, Oblivion. Oblivion was my favorite, and then of course Skyrim. She was a dark indeed. With Mother Merc gone, the heck? It's, it's kind of the same, but different at the same time. You, with this game, you can't go in expecting it to be like a sequel to Skyrim. Like, this is an MMO kind of set in an Elder Scrolls universe. It's like a... a uh, parallel universe so to speak it's interesting it's fun i know this game gets a lot of hate from a lot of people but those who play it really enjoy it so that's all that really matters They're, they keep adding more things to it, and with every update, it becomes more and more and more like an Elder Scrolls game. When it first released, they had a long way to go, but they're doing a lot of things, and they have a lot of things in the works that I think are going to really make the game great. I do think eventually it's going to go free-to-play. I don't think it's going to last very long as a subscription-based game, which kind of makes me sad because... Free-to-play games drive me nuts with all the microtransactions. I like the all-you-can-eat buffet feel uh, with subscription games, but if they do free-to-play right, then I think it'll be okay. An adventurer from the looks of you. 
Live by the sword and die by it, as they say. What brings you to our humble camp? I might have something that will interest you. We captured a Red Rook messenger prowling around our camp. We think he was going to a Red Rooks and Bloodthorns meeting. Rumor is they're forming an alliance, but we can't get the messenger to talk. An adventurer from the looks of you. I might have some... Might as well give it a shot. Please, you have to listen to me. My family's in danger. No one will listen. I'll tell you everything I know, but you have to help me. I'm begging you. First, you have to promise to help me. I didn't stumble into a Lion Guard camp by accident. I didn't. All right, all right. Take Not much for strategy, huh? I fully agree with you. It is a lot of the younger kids who are giving it hate. And so many people are like, Oh, the graphics are so bad. I mean, I come up from a generation where graphics meant crap. Like, it's the gameplay that's going to drag you in. I mean, I'm 28 years old. I enjoy this game. The graphics look beautiful to me. They don't look bad at all. I mean, they're not Skyrim quality, but you're in an MMO. Like, I'd rather have crap graphics and a good gameplay than anything else. I mean, I think my character looks beautiful, and I think the scenery's pretty, the water's beautiful, everything. They're going to be adding the Dark Brotherhood, the Thief Skill. They're going to be adding an arena. They already added die system, which is really cool. They're going to be doing a three versus three arena. Um, what else are they adding? Oh, a justice system. They have a lot of things in the works, and uh, I'm excited. Now, I was here at launch, and it was very buggy. It got to the point where you couldn't even level. like. The launch was terrible. They had a horrible launch, which did not help their publicity whatsoever. But it's gotten so much better. And it's like, it's like the Elder Scrolls in a sense of the more you use the ability, the more you level it up. But you don't level up from, like, you don't level up your actual level from leveling, like, your bow. It's, a, it's like your basic MMO in that sense that you level up from doing quests. Exactly. No one remembers Vanilla WoW because all it's all these little kids that are coming in that never got to experience Vanilla WoW. Vanilla WoW was crap compared to things nowadays. Whenever I played Vanilla WoW, it was like amazing because there was nothing else like it. And it just people are <sighs> impatient and they want polish right here, right now. And it's ridiculous. The crafting in this game is so much fun and you're not limited to just like two crafting or one crafting you can do all the crafting it is so much fun
Well, yeah, and I, I, a lot of people say Star Wars failed, but they're the fourth most grossed uh, paid MMO. I mean, they made over a hundred and sixty million dollars last year in subscriptions, so that's not really a fail. But I do feel like this game has a great foundation, and the more that they add to it, the better it's going to be, I think. My inventory is full. <laughs> oh no, it's not full. Why couldn't I get that? Oh, I already have the disguise. But I really enjoy this game and the haters can just go on hating and they're never going to be happy. They're never going to find a game that fits their standards. Bloodthorns to arms! The Red Rooks have betrayed us! Hey Alex, how you doing today? I like my Bosmer lady. Me likey Bosmers. Even though they're cannibals. But I mean they can't let their victims go to waste, right? <laughs> You're such a cat, I swear. You sleep so much. We cannot resist much longer. We they can't will resist break much longer. Us. We can't resist much longer. Soon we'll be forced to answer their call. Our masters were the ancient rulers of High Rock at rest these many years. Now, Bloodthorn cultists have disturbed the burial mounds and stolen the ruling regalia from the tombs of our kings. We can't stop them. The Bloodthorn drain our wills. If you recover the regalia they stole and return it to the crypts, it will restore... The re These Bloodthorn are nothing more than grave robbers. Take back nice. I heard Payday was a fun game. Each item to its proper tomb. Somebody gifted me Portal 2 yesterday, so I look forward to playing that. Mountains. Holy cow! Night Owl? Not us. At least. There were loud, insistent voices, crying in our minds, screaming, Submit! Submit! They're servants of Mo.
All that commotion we heard from the ruins. That was you, wasn't it? <laughs> a job well done, then. No good would have come from such an unholy alliance. I suppose I'll let the poor sap go. In a bit. Teach him not to skulk around Lion Guard camps. And maybe I'll toss him a pair of pants to wear while I'm at it. What? What's wrong with her booty? It's pretty flat. Look at it. No, it's flat. <laughs> she got flat booty, just like me. <sighs> Go make your own character and make her have a big butt. Ah, a new recruit. If you're here to help, we could certainly make use of you. Aren't we all, my friend? Aren't we all? We might be able to assist each other, but we have some other business to take care of first. We're dealing with a literal undead uprising. Our patrols sweep the wilds while our primary wizard, Gabriel Benelay, searches for a magical relic that will help. But I'm concerned. Some of our patrols haven't returned. Is Payday worth buying? Like, should I look into it? The Lion Guard doesn't usually seek help outside its ranks. But these are desperate. Stendar, bless you. I'll tell you what I can. In hindsight, I may have spread the patrols too thin. I sent them to patrol the grounds around the readout, to protect the god at farm, and to guard the western ruins at Merovex Folly. Wizard Benelay is here on behalf of the Mages Guild. Oh, I'd love to, but there's some... <laughs> oh, then I better not get it. If it's not a game I can play alone then I'm not going to get it, because what happens is I end up playing all my games alone anyways. Aww, <laughs> sounds fun.
stranger. The blood of the forebears. Engoff's minions are relentless. We were working with the wizard Benelay. I lost track of her when the zombies attacked. Now I'm the only one left. Blood thorns desecrate the Lion Guard soldiers killed in the ruins. They raise them as zombies. If you use my sacred emblem, you can sanctify the corpses. That will prevent them from being raised as undead. So many zombies and werewolves on this side. I don't remember the zombies or werewolves being as prominent in Aldmeri Dominion. something important to discuss but not here it's not safe meet me at the way shrine near the lion guard redoubt it's safer there Thank Kenrith I found you. You don't know how many people I have met have been torn apart by these cultists and their creatures. I was with Wizard Benelay at the nearby Maravex Folly, looking for an important relic. When the undead attacked us, we were forced to retreat, but the maid swore she was close to finding something. She did some magic thing and vanished. She said that a nearby crypt contained a relic we needed to defeat Angoff. I would have remained by her side, but she just disappeared. I told Commander Ailes what happened, and he said I should find you and let you know. The crypt's got to be somewhere near the ruins of Maravex Folly. 
She kept a journal that she was constantly writing in. I'm sure it contains the location of the crypt. Our camp is west of the redoubt. Her journal is probably still there. Wizard Benele is nice enough, but she's not very sensible. Rolls, even when the fighting got intense. I hate meeting new people when I'm not at my best. Is my hair all right? Are my robes on straight? Who cares? Commander Ailes? A good man, and a good soldier. But how did you... I did? I knew I left my journal somewhere. But I haven't told you the most exciting news. I found the Midnight Talisman. With it, we can punch a hole in Angoff's barrier at Cath Pedreau. We just need to recharge the beautiful little relic. Do you like the name? I thought it up myself. Sounds simply ominous, doesn't it? Anyhow, it's a Daedric relic used to manipulate Oblivion portals. If you know how, you can use the talisman to get past arcane barriers. And I know how. The talisman would be the key to defeating Angoth. If its power wasn't depleted, we need to recharge the talisman. Then we'll finally get our chance to deal with Angoth and take the battle to him. 
I have a ritual that can recharge the talisman and restore its power. There's an ancient weird site on the beach near here. We can use that as the focus for the ritual. I just need to rest for a bit. Then I can get myself there and still have enough power for the ritual. Here. Hi, how are you? Are you having a good Wednesday? I'm doing pretty good for a Wednesday. <laughs> I'm ready for the weekend. Mm-hmm. Could be worse, it could be Monday. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Do any of you guys play Elder Scrolls or the test series? Hell. Won't somebody come? Nothing wrong with the level. I have a maxed character, and then this one I started on Dagger Falls. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, what faction do you guys play? My max is on Aldmarie Dominion, and then I have this one on Dagger Falls. I'm really enjoying it. Though, there are a lot of quests about dead babies, so I was have surprised. I <laughs> you've done good and holy work. 
troubled souls must be put to rest, so they do not rise again. You have my thanks for taking care of this for me. They've made a lot of changes since launch. Whenever the game first launched, it was pretty horrible. Like, with the bugs, of course, you can't have an Elder Scrolls game without bugs, but it was almost unplayable. And then a whole bunch, there was just, it was brutal. But they're making a lot of changes, and with each change, it's becoming more and more and more like an Elder Scrolls game than it's supposed to be. Okay. That comes out in December, right? Ooh, Aldmeri. Yeah, Aldmeri Dominion's fun. It's pretty. Dagger Falls is, isn't as pretty, but it's still interesting. The quests are really sad, <laughs> but there's a lot of zombies and werewolves, so that's interesting. Yeah, let's hope. <laughs> I, d I foresee the game going free to play. I don't foresee it sticking to the subscription base. Or they might do like what Star Wars Old Republic does with there's a free to play version and a subscription version. But we'll see. If they do go free to play, there's going to be transactions out the butt. No, the server's not dead. There's. there's I mean, don't get me wrong, it, it's it's very empty compared to whenever it launched, but there's still quite a lot of people who play. And since there's only one server, I guess it kind of makes it easy. I think the numbers were there's about 700,000 people that still play. And most people are in the veteran. There's not a lot of new players. So like the starting areas, there's not a lot of people. But if you go to like the vet places or like PVP, it's packed yeah. full of people. I'm really looking forward to the arena PvP, the 3 versus 3, and I'm really liking the dice system that they added, but the PvP, the arena is what I'm most looking forward to. Well, aren't consoles on different servers than PC? Yeah, that's crazy. The the mounts were crazily expensive, and then having the Imperial mount that was only a gold if you bought the Imperial edition was kind of silly. I did not like the paywalls that came with the Collector's edition, including a race. I kind of get upset about the playing any race on any faction as well, because then like, what's the point of paying, being on different factions? 
But once you get to the end story, then it kind of makes sense, but meh. I, I can get over that, but the the mount and the Imperial race behind a paywall was not cool. And then whenever the game launched, I created a guild, Legalized Skooma, and we had a ton of people, like 400 people. Like, it was an amazing guild. But I went to promote somebody, and it auto-promoted them to guild leadership. They went from the starting... Uh, recruit to guild leadership instantly because of a glitch and that person wouldn't give it back and then they stopped playing and Zenimax would not give it back to me and I was so ticked off then they double charged me and after that I had enough I was like forget this game and I quit but then I recently came back after the changes and my friends were like no man you gotta come back you gotta come back so now I'm back and I'm really enjoying the changes that they've made just hopefully that it keeps being positive changes. <laughs> I get a lot of flack for this, but I prefer Oblivion over Skyrim. Skyrim was a good game, don't get me wrong, but I just, I prefer Oblivion. I spent a lot more time on Oblivion than I did Skyrim. Mm-hmm. Skyrim is good. Especially if, like, if you have all the mods that make it super, super hard. Uh, yeah, kind of, but with all the changes that they've been making, stamina builds are, are almost more powerful than mages. Like, they're, they keep buffing the stamina builds, like, almost with every patch. It's also in all it's also in how you play your character. Not everyone's good at the mage, not everyone's good at the Dragonite, no you know, it just depends on the person's playstyle. I was too weak to protect the tomb of my lord, the Iron Son of High Rock. He was a mighty ruler of ancient Canlorn. His powerful blade of skyfallen iron forged a mighty dynasty. Once again, the Iron King's flame will burn those who try to steal his blade.
Yeah, it is possible to pull off. Everyone has this basic stealth, which works really well in PvP, and then the Nightblades have the 2.5 second stealth. It, it definitely works if you know how to use it. You can't just face roll. Uh, my gear is just level 10 gear. It's nothing... Most of my gear is broken. Actually, all my gear is broken right now because I haven't been to town. I'm only level 14 on this tune, so all my gear is broken. I probably should go to town and fix that, but it's okay. The way I have my gear set up, it only affects how much health I have. Yeah. Like I said, this tune's only 14, so I outlevel the gear so fast, I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of money on it until I get up a little bit higher. Mm-hmm. I do. I'm gonna go heal my gear. I didn't realize all my pieces of gear were broken. My horses are beauties. Look. Yeah, see, the horses are still pretty expensive. You have your 17k one, your 42k ones. Greetings. Some people didn't even, could even get mounts until level cap. A tidy shop is a profitable shop, my love. Hear ye, hear ye. Stay out of trouble. The and we'll danger get along to the Dania Woods has passed. And you get dies from achievements that you've completed.
I craft. I don't buy it. Well, well. Took you long enough. My grand grand could have cleared that cave out faster than you did. And she's only got one arm. I buy my enchantments, though. I don't create them. <laughs> Cuts right through my crap. I like it. Listen. Yeah, Destiny looks pretty neat. <clears throat> I haven't got into the beta or anything, but I watched quite a lot of gameplay on it. It definitely looks pretty neat. Listen up, you bunch of corset-wearing dog diddlers. We got a new piece of meat on the rack, fresh from the butcher's block. What do you say we show them a proper welcome to the club? Here, here. I've got a proper welcome for them. Right out in my breeches. Might be that's a monster they could actually slay. Eh, Jolly? Always with the breeches. You lot should get out more. Besides, that's no proper welcome. I propose a toast. Hear, hear! A toast! A toast and a song! Hear, hear! hear. hear. To the new meat's mother. May she have many healthy children. Since this one's a goner. <laughs> to the new meat's lover, may their tears be few and silent. Lucky. So I don't have to hear it when this one dies. <laughs> <laughs> to the new meat's face, may it always bear a smile, so it doesn't look so ugly. That's good. Mechanics are very important. <laughs> a fine toast for a fine piece of meat. Now, let's have a song to finish them off. Who knows no fear of beast or blade? Undaunted! Undaunted! Who knows no fear of Daedric Plane? We are undaunted! Who knows no fear of death, of age? Undaunted! Undaunted! We are undaunted! Hope you enjoyed the show, friend. Do take pride in what we are. Now you can too. Ah, I love that song. Nice. Every new member, sort of a rite of passage. You survived our song. Hopefully you'll survive the beasts and the bastards waiting in the deeps to kill you. So is the classes um, uneven if one's the best by far? That's is it, it balanced? Welcome to the Undaunted. Now you mean besides fame, glory, right to brag about any and everything you do? If the Undaunted know anything, they know how to fight. Stick around and you might learn some new skills. Then, there's the Armory. We hold some of the finest weapons. Some loud at the bar was talking about the spider cave and spindle clutch up in the hag's head. Set a whole squad from the fight. We all do. Prove your fear. Not more pig trouble, I hope. That's good. Balance is very hard to keep, but I'm glad that it is. Do not waste my time. As long as it's balanced, and that's fine. I'll definitely have to check it out.
Did you guys try Wildstar? And if you did, did you like it? Okay, I'll check it out then, definitely. Uh, it's medium, I think. Put it on medium. It seems to stream better on medium versus high.
Oh, uh, some are on high, some are off, some are low. You arrived just in time. Not too badly. Luckily, you got here ahead of their interrogator. Thanks for freeing me. Now we have to look for the others. Good to see you again. I hate to think what would have happened to me if you hadn't come along. That we did, thanks to you. Now that we're all back together, we have a better chance to put an end to this Dominion incursion. Run to the temple. Right here? This one? Oh, okay, yeah, I decided not to teleport because it cost too much money, so I'm just going to run. Yeah! Rub the sticks together, then build a tinder fort. Yeah! 
below. Yeah, yeah, I know. I need to upgrade my gear. It's like level 10 gear. <laughs> I normally craft that whenever I'm not playing, or not streaming anyways. That way I don't bore people with crafting. As soon as I stop streaming, I'll have to go through and upgrade all my gear. I was also on the phone and got distracted. <laughs> So where are you guys from?
I'm down in Florida. I'm originally from Oklahoma, but I moved to Florida about two years ago. I suffer eternal dishonor for failing my lady, the Emerald Princess. I am no longer worthy of the post I hold. She was our beloved ruler, a queen with martial skills and unsurpassed beauty. Her shield, the Green Aegis, protected her in battle. It was the symbol of our undying loyalty to her. Don't kill me. I am not your enemy. Wait, I'm not your enemy. I'm hiding. I didn't know the Bloodthorns were going to desecrate this burial site. My ancestors are buried here. My great-great-grandfather appeared before me, demanded I atone for the desecration. If I don't, he said he'd haunt me. Forever. It is. I live, uh... 40 minutes from Daytona and an hour from Orlando, so I have like the small town feel with the big cities close by. And I live about 15 minutes from the beach, and the beach here has no tourists, it's all local. So it's clean, everyone's nice, and it's never ever crowded. Even on 4th of July. I made a mistake when I joined them. If I go back out there, they'll kill me. Please, help me appease my ancestors. Look for the tombs of the Windvale, Patriarch, Matriarch, and the Scion. They were very important in their time. I'd suggest honoring the Windvale Founder's tomb last. He was really angry, scared me witless when he just appeared out of nowhere. It seemed like a good idea at the time. I was never let in on any big secrets or plans, though. According to the Founder, I joined because I'm a shiftless idiot and a lazy, good-for-nothing slob. He really ripped into me. I'm going to do whatever I can to make up for my mistakes. I'll get out of here and go home to Daggerfall. Find something useful to do, maybe help my father at his tailor shop. I certainly won't be joining any other cults in the near future, not me. Because of Angoth, he seemed like the strong leader that Glenumbra so desperately needs. He can be very persuasive. I never thought about the harm we were doing until the ghost of my own ancestor confronted me. Of course I am. I'm so scared. I can't think straight. That's why I'm begging for your mercy and your aid. When the I'm gonna run. North, east, anywhere my feet will take me. Look for the tombs of the Windvale Patriarch. Once more, the Green Aegis defends its lady's resting place. Aww. I've never been to New York. My sister lives in New Jersey, and I've thought about coming to visit, but I haven't yet. I also know, isn't the, the cost of living there extremely high? <laughs> And apparently people pronounce croissants as croissants.
crazy expensive. You can get a nice condo on the beach here for about like 600 bucks. I failed to protect the regalia of my exalted lord, the Golden Prince. He was a ruler of great wealth and renown. He brought trade and prosperity to High Rock. The Prince's power was in his vast reserves of gold, the balm that soothes all tempers. Yeah, that would definitely come in handy. Plus, I hear you can get anything delivered in New York. <laughs> Once more, the pride of the Golden Prince protects his treasures. It's wonderful here. I love the weather. I love basically everything. I know people say it's heaven's waiting room because of all the old people, but oh, I don't regret moving here whatsoever. What do you do for a living? I have failed in my duty. I could not defend the trophies of the Supreme Hunter, the Ivory Lord. It does rain here in the summertime pretty often, but it cools everything down, so... At It'll rain, but it won't be hot the next day, which comes in handy. I haven't experienced a hurricane since I've been here, um, so we'll see. I live far enough away from the beach that a hurricane really wouldn't affect me too much. But again, I haven't experienced one here. And most of the houses here are made out of concrete, so they're not going anywhere. My lord was a hunter. He stalked dangerous game from Skyrim to Valenwood. No beast could elude him, no target could evade his arrow. It took many assassins to lay him low. 